Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm talking all about red light therapy and reviewing the loom box. Before we can really dive into the loom box specifically, we need to make sure we're on the same page about the science behind red light therapy. Red light therapy uses specific wavelengths of red and near infrared light to target our mitochondria, aka the powerhouse of our cell, to increase cellular energy, increase blood flow, and reduce inflammation. Almost all of our cells in our body have mitochondria, and the unfortunate reality is that there's a lot of stuff in our environment these days which can damage our mitochondria, which impairs their function, which means that the cell doesn't produce as much energy, which in turn means the cell doesn't work as good as it should. An example that's easy to conceptualize is think about a flashlight. When it has fresh batteries in it, the light it emits is greater than when the batteries are running low or close to die and it emits less light. And the same thing is happening to our cells. So using red light therapy, specifically red and near infrared light is like a charger for your cells because it penetrates the skin to reach the mitochondria in our cells, activate them and make them work better to produce more energy. That's why you hear so many benefits of red light from skin to joints to muscles, etc. But not all red light is created equal. It depends on their irradiance. Irradiance determines the dosage of light your tissues receive and how much light actually penetrates through the skin. There are over 2000 studies talking about red light therapy. So if you really wanna dive in, you're certainly welcome to, but that is as far as our mini lesson goes. So let's talk about Loombox, how it compares to other red lights and my personal experience with it. First things first, I'm not gonna bury the lead. Let's talk about price. Loombox sells for $629 or $369 with my link. Now. I wasn't gifted this, I bought it on my own, but after using it for a year and a half, I was like, I really wanna make a review video about it. And every time I make a review video about it, if I actually like the product, I see if I can get a link to discount it for you all. And so I was able to get a link to discount it like $260. So this isn't paid or anything. Um, it's just my honest review and then a discount if you're looking for one. Okay, so back to the price. This is quite a bit higher than a lot of other red lights you've probably seen on the market, but for good reason. I'm gonna highlight the six top reasons it is priced higher and worth the money. One, it has high irradiance, which is the amount of light your tissues receive. If a red light doesn't have that high of a radiance, then your tissues aren't receiving the benefit and the cells are not receiving the benefit that the red light claims to have. So you can see just by when I turn this thing on, this thing is freaking bright and very powerful. And that is what you're paying for. Number two, it is portable. So this is the carrying case. This is the thing, it fits nicely inside of it. I travel or I fly with it. I take it in the car and do everything with it. I usually travel with a case, but I've even traveled alone with it um, in my bag, make sure it's very carefully guarded, but it can be traveled with. You just have to take it out like a computer at TSA. That's the only thing. Number three is it covers a large surface area more so than the other red light. So you can see when I turn this on, like if I were to hold it out, like I can cover a large surface area of myself with it. And so that's another benefit. You can treat like your face, neck and chest all at once, or you know, your back all at once many different things because it's such a little powerhouse. Number four, it has two modes. So you see me use my red mode. The second mode is near for red mode, which actually penetrates deeper um, into the tissue. So red mode I use on my face for like my face redness, acne scars, things like that. And then the near for red mode, I use it for like sore muscles, stomach cramps, things like that. I will turn on the near. This is the near for red mode and it's like invisible to the naked eye. So warning if you get this, like I didn't know what that was when I first bought this because I just, I was sold on influencers if I'm being honest. Um, but don't, you're not supposed to look at the near for red with your eyes, maybe any of it with your eyes, so just be careful. Number five, it was built to be a powerful little device. As you can see, you've seen it's very powerful, but it's actually made to produce as little EMF as possible. And it's been third party tested for EMFs. Number six, lastly, it's FDA registered, which is always nice. All right, here is how I've specifically used Loombox and the different use cases I've had. So I initially bought this because of um, acne scars and face redness. I have a little bit of makeup on, so you might not be able to see what I'm talking about, um, but that is exactly why I bought this device. And then I realized, I didn't realize at the time, but just to use it on your face, which I feel like is how everyone is kind of using red lights these days. It's all about the face and the wrinkles and things like that. And I was like, yes, let's even my skin tone. But really that was just the tip of the iceberg. Oh my gosh, I use it for literally everything. Um, I have a sore shoulder, 
a sore shoulder sometimes. I have like a tenusitis elbow sometimes. I've had back problems, hip problems, and stomach cramps. I am just using this thing all the time. I'll be at work and I just shove it down my pants and I am, you know, red lighting my thigh or I'm laying in bed and I do my shoulder or I wake up in the morning and I don't want to leave the comfort of my bed yet. And so I just spend 10 minutes red lighting my face and my chest and so many freaking use cases. I use it on the couch, at work, in my bed, in the car, everywhere. Literally the smallest thing wrong, I'm like using my red light. I've even seen people use it when they are feeling like a little tickle in their throat and they feel like they're getting sick. They literally red light that shit away. Okay, let's touch on a few of my personal pros of the Loom Box. First of all, it's very portable. I've seen other um, like red light masks where people like have to have it plugged into like a battery pack and wear it. Not a huge deal, but I love that this is cordless when it's not plugged in to charge. I feel so good that it's third party tested. It was third party tested to test like the efficacy of the irradiance of the light itself. It was third party tested for the EMFs. I just like that they went above and beyond to make sure it's working the way it should work and that you're not just like paying hundreds of dollars for a device that's just trendy. That's how I kind of feel about some of the other devices out there, especially like those masks, like everybody has them and they're probably cool. Maybe they work. I don't know. I didn't look into it, but I just feel like they're very trendy and it's like, do you work as good as you should? I love that it has both red and near-for-red mode. So again, it was just the tip of my iceberg to use it on my face and I really love it for like aches and pains and muscles and joints and all that good stuff with the near-for-red mode. And I feel like versus the face mask, this can be used on all parts of your body where I assume the face mask is most of the face. Like maybe you can put the face mask on your arm or something, uh, but I don't know. All right, let's get into the cons. Speaking of face masks, sometimes I really am jealous of the face mask people that just get to strap it on their face and walk around. And I want to be that person sometimes, but then again, it's a 10 minute session. And so it's just like, can I really not sit and chill for 10 minutes? I probably could. Second con is I don't have this stand. So you can buy a stand separately. I think it's like 50 or 60 bucks on the website and you just like put it there and then it just like sits in front of you to like light your face or whatever body part. And sometimes I can't decide if I'm gonna buy it or not. I've been thinking about it, but I just don't know if I'm gonna sit on the counter and really red light my face in the morning. I love doing it when I first wake up because it gives me excuse to stay in bed for 10 minutes longer. It's just like sometimes when I'm laying down, it gets heavy to hold it like this. Honestly, before I made this video, I just found this orange strap. I kind of forgot I had it. And so maybe that will take some of the pressures off my hand to hold it like this. But usually I'm just like using it like this. And that's how I read like my face and my chest in the morning. I guess one of the other cons could be the price. But honestly, like I think when you're paying for a really high quality device that's third party tested, it's, you know, 30 day back money guarantee and all that good stuff. Like I always feel good buying a good quality thing versus spending less money on a device that... A, maybe doesn't work, and B, maybe won't last that long, things like that. Okay, those are really only my cons with this because this little thing is pretty dope. Let me give you a quick tour of what comes in it. So this is the Loom Box box. It comes with the charger, so it's portable, again, not when it's charging. And then it comes with this little orange handle, which you can easily take off. Boop. And then how cute is this little carrying case? So oftentimes I do travel with the carrying case. Um, but sometimes if my carry-on is very tight, I will take it out and just, you know, make sure it's like in my sweatshirt or something. But um, I usually put the cord nicer than that. But it's really light. It's really handy. It just slides in your backpack. That's the tour. If you're still shopping around, totally cool. You should definitely check out and compare the wavelengths and irradiance to the loom box from whatever other red light you're checking out to make sure you're getting the highest quality that will actually work for you. If you're like, I kind of want a red light, but I have no idea what the use cases are for it or how it benefits me or helps me. Avol or Instagram, I think they have a lot of use cases that I find like really cool. They're like, oh, my plantar fasciitis like started acting up. Oh, I use it on that and it helps. Like just such interesting things. And also they have a Kickstarter guide that tells you everything you need to know about your light, how to use it, all the precautions, any of that stuff when you buy it. Overall, I have no other products to compare the Loom Box to. This is my one and only red light device. I haven't bought any others, but she has been my trusty companion for a year and a half and I've been really happy with her. I haven't been like super consistent to show you like before and after pictures of like my acne, which honestly has improved drastically the redness and the scars themselves but I have done a couple other like uh, face peels and stuff like that so I don't like show you a photo and say it's oh just because of this magical thing but I have seen on their Instagram page a lot of other before and afters for a handful of things that you could maybe trust those a little bit more than my like inconsistent usage okay that's the review if you are in the market for the loom box 
make sure to use the link in my description so you save $260. That's crazy. And if you like other reviews, I would love if you would subscribe to my channel. And if you're really feeling frisky, subscribe to my newsletter that's also in the description because I like to do different reviews in there as well. Otherwise, I'll catch you here next time. Bye.